Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron na naman tayong random math problem galing from probability. So this is just a basic probability question for our uh, pang junior high school lang din ng mga lodi and dun sa mga mahilig talaga sa math. So ito yung tanong mga lodi. Basic lang to, don't worry. So we'll just discuss the concept behind this problem. So there are 7 black balls and 5 white balls. So let's say they are in a bag. So if 3 balls are drawn randomly, Find the probability of getting at least two white balls. So notice the word randomly. Okay? So this means that if we draw randomly, so basically what we're gonna use is combination. Dalawa kasi yan mga lodi, it's either permutation or combination. Permutation is used when there is a specific arrangement. If combination, uh, the, 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 the order doesn't matter and at the same time that is random in order. Okay? So what will we do? So first we have to compute the sample space or the total number of outcomes so first thing how many balls are there so we have seven black plus five white so that is a total of 12 balls in the bag let's say in the bag okay so we'll get three balls so dahil random siyang ginawa so we will use combination so that will be 12 combination ng three so that is equal to 12 factorial all over r factorial multiplied by n minus r factorial. Mga lodi, di ba? So, meron tayong 12 factorial over 3 factorial 9 factorial. Alam naman natin na yung 12 factorial can be written as 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial. Itong 3 factorial can be written as 3 times 2 times 1 and may 9 factorial tayo that we can cancel. Which is common sa numerator at denominator natin. Okay. So, itong 3, pwede natin cancel So, this is 4. Itong 2, pwede dito. So, 2 times 11 times 10, okay, that is 220. Therefore, 220 is the number of, or the total number of outcomes. So, that will be our denominator. Recall the concept of probability. Probability of an event is the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes and the total number of outcomes. So, ang kulang na lang natin, Sir IJ, yung number of favorable outcomes. Ano bang sinabi? Getting at least 2 white. E ilan ba yung kukunin natin? Tatlo. So, meron tayong limang white. So, pag kumuha tayo ng dalawang white, that is 5 combination ng 2. Siyempre, kung dalawang white lang, e di kukuha pa tayo ng isang black. That is 7 combination ng 1. Tandaan po, this is the concept of the fundamental principle of counting. So, kumuha tayo ng dalawa dahil random siya combination, tapos kumuha tayo ng isa sa black. Kaya lang sinabi at least 2 white. Ano ibig sabihin ng at least 2 white? That means that greater than or equal to 2. So, what will happen is that pwede rin tatlong white yung makuha natin, tas wala ng black. So, plus 5 combination ng 3, multiplied by 7 combination ng 0, in which ito is 1 lang din naman, mga lodi. Na gets? Dalawang white, isang black. Tatlong white, walang black. Okay? So, ang 5 combination ng 2, applying same principle, so that is 10, multiplied by 7, plus 5 combination ng 3, that is 10 times 1. So, this is equivalent to 70 plus 10, that is 80. So, the required probability is number of favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. Simplify natin, that is 4 over 11. So, the desired answer for this given problem is 4 over 11. So, if ever you have questions or clarifications, mga Lodi, huwag kayo mahihang mag-comment sa comment section. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga patuloy na sumusupport sa channel ni Sir IJ and I hope you all the best, mga Lodi. Pagpalain kayo, Lord, keep safe na lang, especially pandemic ngayon. So, subscribe din po pala kayo sa mother ko, Mary Ann Maling Kulay. Orange po yung profile niya. So, that is more on cooking and more on, ayun nga, support din po natin yung vlog ni Mami. And, ayun mga Lodi, maraming maraming salamat sa mga patuloy na nanonood sa channel natin and kita-kits na lang sa mga match tutorials natin sa mga susunod pa and sana wag kayo magsawa mga Lodi God bless and bye bye